Hello everyone, it's Compoise here. I'm going to be streaming the recent work I've been putting into Mistcraft. Uh, a few moments of setup and making sure everything worked out here, right? Yeah. Okay. It's been a while, so I'm making sure that all the uh, gears aren't welded together, as it were. So then, actually. Last thing on the bobs were set up to make sure that information went to the right places. And while I'm doing that, I'll go ahead and start explaining some of what I'll be doing. Uh, I am sitting in TeamSpeak. Uh, I've actually commandeered Jaded's room. She offered to let me use her room for streaming. So I'm sitting there. Uh, if some of the usual people that join me on streams decide to come by, I'll be available there. Uh, my browser stuff is currently locked up. Oops. Hello, chat. So let's see here. We're getting some people are showing up. Uh-oh. People are complaining they were watching Direwolf 20, and now they have to come watch me, apparently. <laughs> So let's see here. How is this? All right. Let's try this once more. If I can just get this configured right, then I'll be ready to start actually stream. Okay. Right. Okay. Worked that time. Okay, so I've got my little chat window up here. I've got everything set up. And now you can see. Okay, so not much to see at the very moment. You just kind of see my Java Eclipse environment. Uh, this is obviously the work environment I have for Mistcraft. Uh, I currently have everything updated to Forge 360, which means Minecraft 1.4.4, or the pre-release thereof. Uh, I intend to be releasing a 1.4.4 uh, update fairly soon, hopefully either today or tomorrow. Uh, but, oops. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, the things I'm working on here won't show up in that release, so uh, not, or at least not everything will. Some things will. All right, let's see if I can do this real quick. Where am I? There I am. Hello, Veo. Veo has joined us now. Hola. Okay, That's so now it won't just be me rambling. <laughs> Yep, this time I'll make sure to shut off the stream first thing, because that is very disorienting. <laughs> uh, a few people are commenting in chat that Jaded wanted to kill me. Uh, she apparently announced publicly on her channel, that, uh, or stream the other day, that she was going to kill me for removing Eternal Day. And uh, Why? That Eternal Day is not being removed. Well, it is. Is the symbol's gone? Uh, and hang on. The main complaint, obviously, is that Eternal's gay is going away, and she's really upset about that. Uh, she likes Eternal Day. I have actually removed those time symbols. The time symbols are gone. All of them. Time to demonstrate why. Time to demonstrate how much better why. How why. much better it is. The. It is now significantly better. You can do lots more than you could with the time symbols, which were misleadingly named anyway, because they only controlled how fast the sun and moon moved across the sky. Okay, so I've got a, a demonstration world I've set up, and you can see there's a moon, there's the sun, and there's cycling. So, not really anything surprising there. Ooh, I'm flying. Okay, don't give you doing that. Let's go 
here. There's the sun, but it's no. all Bengal. There's a moon. It's fixed in the sky. And there's a moon pretty book in it. No. Someone just popped up in chat asking, hello, what's new? Mm. The sky is new. I have constructed a system that allows you to write in suns, moons, uh, specify where they are in the sky, how they move, if they move. Yes, the sky is what Veo has been teasing everybody about. And it is awesome. And it is awesome. So there's a moon that just cycles very quickly. It's actually managed to make at least one full loop in the time it took the sun to move from there to there. Uh, at some point, this will get tonight, but in the uh, interest of the stream, I will make it go a little faster. Okay. And now there's the stars. And so even though you have control of all these celestial bodies, even though they're moving slowly or quickly or whatever, it's and they're all moving at weird angles, as soon as the uh, brightest object goes down below the horizon, suddenly everything gets darker. Yes, the lighting of the world is based off of the highest solar object. Okay, so, here comes the moon, there's a moon, and I lost the sun, because it went around too fast. Uh, it was just there to the is. right it's of the just set off the horizon. <coughs> uh, light is currently only tied to moon, or to suns, sorry. Uh, but at some point I intend to make it so that moons provide some amount of light even if there is no sun, even though that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Just because that's True, simple. it might not make sense, but players will definitely, definitely expect that. Yes. Uh, can you control the size of the suns and moons? Like, make them huge or tiny in the sky? Not yet. Uh, but you can control the angle, the length of their cycle, and where they start from, so the basic phase offset. Does it lag the world? I'm not experiencing any. Uh, uh, I made a world. It was jungle hills checkerboarded with jungle, and then I skylands that and made it a blue-green sky. I threw a sun in the northwest, halfway between rising and setting, and set it there permanently, and then I added in 10 moons with no specification, so they were just completely random, and I have not have, had any lag. Basically, it doesn't really create any lag. There's not really any, any reason for it to do so. Okay, so that was four. Let's see here. Let's go to three next. All right, we just watched the sunset over there. Whoa! That's ah. booking it for a random mate. Oh, wow. Multiple suns. That was fun. <laughs> that was good timing. Okay, that so there's... very good timing. There's one sun. Going around. It's... That's quite a fast sun. That should be about the same as... Actually, no, that's faster than fast time was. And then there's a sun That's rising. Far faster. And then there's a sun rising. This world will never be dark. It is effectively eternal day. But it's even cooler than it was but before. But it's even cooler than eternal day. Ooh, they're about to cross. Solar eclipse with the sun. No, oh, they missed. Sun's all over the place. 
All right. Uh, the mind is asking, when you leave a world, does the time stop? And if you put a world anchor in there, what happens? Um, if you leave a world and all the chunks unload, then time does stop, I think. <coughs> yeah, I left that to you because I'm not sure how your time system works compared to the normal time system. Uh, but if chunks are loaded, then time does not stop. So, you know, suns and moons continue cycling. This is a void world. First thing you notice, you can see the sky below you. Second thing to notice, there are no suns or moons in this world. But there are three layers of stars. I don't know how clearly you can see the stars out there. It's subtle, but you can see the stars moving. There are three layers of stars. Some of the stars move one direction. Uh, some of them move another. Uh, or Basically, each layer of stars moves in a different direction. Uh, Tim, that is likely to not happen. I'm sorry, that's not really something industrial craft planned for, and they would likely have to work with this system in order to uh, support that. Uh, the question Tim asked was, if you have multiple suns, will it increase the EU in a, uh, that a solar panel produces? And that's not likely. But if you have multiple suns, the highest one will control how much EU the solar panels produce. I particularly think this age is beautiful. I love the way this looks. I'd say the only thing here is those clouds that you're looking at. Yeah, so the clouds. It'd be nice if the clouds go away. I could probably do something about that. Uh, the tech whiz number one. There will be a port to 1.4.4 soon. This will not be included. Um, this is requiring some changes to writing, and those will need to be tested and applied to the whole writing system, and uh, this will be a while, but it's so cool, had to show you guys. All right, so let's go back to the overworld real quick. Oh, bug I should, or a uh, uh, bug fix I should show off. No twitching! No more twitching on interlink. That is quite nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, viral 2141. If you look at just the symbol names, yes, Eternal Day is being removed. If you look at what you're doing, you still have Eternal Day, but there are so many more options to do it. It's incredible. It's awesome. This is... this. Uh, a few things that I have here will be in the uh, upcoming port update. The fix for interlinking will be in the update. Uh, the miscraft creative tab will also be in the update. And now let's let, let's write one of these ages. This system is a little awkward at the moment. Uh, writing is getting a rewrite but the moment I have the writing you're used to in you, so we we'll use that. Uh, uh, so let's take a request on where to put the suns and moons. All right. Where do we want to put the suns and moons? Um, I'll just pick one person who gives a suggestion in chat. And the answers are in the sky. That was a good answer. Um, Done in northwest. Okay, so let's see here. North? I have, okay, I, it's alphabetical, I can do this. 